Uh, if you need to build multilingual versions of your C++ Builder FireMonkey application, you can do that using the TLang component that's part of FireMonkey. Let's create a new project, FireMonkey Desktop Application C++ Builder, and let's put a few uh, components down. Uh, button has a text property. We'll go down here and change that to OK. A checkbox. We'll set its text property to checked. And a label. We'll set its text property to hello. Notice that in the object inspector for each of these controls, you'll also see a property called auto translate. And auto translate says that if you have a TLang component and you run this application on a computer, it will go and look and see the locale and it will translate when you run the application, the strings that it has translations for. So let's put a TLang component down. It's a non visual control that it has a couple of properties, one called auto select. If that's true, then again, when you start the application and you have some translated strings, it will look at the locale for the application machine it's running on, and it will do the auto selection of a specific language and translate the strings where it has translations. You can also specify a file name to load translations from, and you can also bring up the language editor. So let's bring up the language editor either by selecting the property and hitting the dot dot dot, or you can double click on the component. It goes and shows the strings that are available currently, and you can always scan for other strings. You can put in a two-letter language code for the languages you want to use this language designer. So let's uh, add Spanish, for example. And now we have a second column where we can put in the translation for each of the strings. So for OK, we'll put acceptar. For checked, we'll put comprobado. And for hello, we'll, we'll put hola. We can also add another language. Let's add French. And now again, we get a little editor. So for OK, approuver. For checked, verify. And for hello, bonjour. Now we can also save these out to a language file and put them in a directory where our application is. And we can put this, uh, the French language in a language file. And we can save the Spanish out to the Spanish language file. There's another property for TLang called store in form. And if that's set to true, then those translated strings will be saved inside of the form file and linked into your executable. But again, you can always use code to load the translated files. Now for testing, I'm going to add a list box. And I'm going to use the list box just to choose different languages. So we'll add three list box items. First one for English, Spanish, and French. And again, you wouldn't normally do this in your application. You would use either use auto select or you might have code to select language from some kind of user interface. And I'm just going to use this so that I, you can see uh, the translations happening in action. And the way this test code will work is we'll use the list box and we'll hook its on change event. And we'll put a line of code here that says set the language equal to the string for the selected item in the list box. Let's run this example. And there's English, there's Spanish, and there's French. And again, this works with strings that are found in the application by setting properties. And also for components that have this auto translate property. You can also add other strings that you can use just by hitting the plus sign over here. And again, you can continue to scan for strings. In this case, it found three more strings in the list box, but those were just for my test case, so I don't, I don't really care. You can also add new original strings like hello world, and then based on the different languages, go and put the strings that you want. So in the case of hello world, we just put in hola mundo, and we can go and switch, switch to French and put in the string bonjour le monde, and again, save all of this back out. If we view the form as text, down here we've got the language strings stored inside of the form because we had store and form set to true. So for strings in your application, in the user interface in your application, you can use the TLang class. There's information about TLang in the doc wiki and in the online help. There's also uh, a listing of the properties. So auto select set true to automatically select the language from list. Uh, here's store and form. Uh, the strings translated to a language is in a langster string list. And the lang property has the current language that is being used 
using the conventional two-letter code for languages. That's how you can add translated strings easily into your FireMonkey application.